going to be doing what I'm really excited about. Um, is we're gonna do some more fall themed stuff today. Um, just because it's been getting cold out lately. And I think that sounds like a lot of fun. And I wanted to make some of these too. So, um, first off, um, our first project, uh, cause there's two of them today, just because we're gonna need to let one of them dry a little bit. And so instead of watching you watch paint dry, I have like another smaller project for you that you can work on while you let this one dry. Our main project first is actually we're going to paint, but we're gonna paint with something a little different. Um, you can use a couple different things, but the best is painting with marbles. So I have like marbles here. And then I have some paints. And so we're actually going to I have like a piece of paper here to be my paint palette. So I'm just gonna put some colors on it. Um, since I did say this was gonna be more fall themed, you can do really whatever colors you want. But for me, I'm gonna put some yellow on there. I need the yellow to come out. There we go. Um, and then I'm gonna put some greens. Some brown, um, some red, and then finally some orange. And like I said, you can use any colors. Um, I just decided like this kind of a color palette because it's more fall y and it's kind of getting in towards fall now. And so what we're going to do is you can pick out some marbles. Maybe you want the big ones, maybe you want the small ones. Um, the heavier they are, the more they work a little better. And then you're going to want a little bit thicker piece of paper. Um, since I'm going to make like a really big demonstration, I have some like thick sketchbook paper. But um, construction paper works. You can do this on a canvas. Um, just basically not computer paper because it's a little too thin for what we're going to do. It'll just rip right up. Uh, basically anything a little bit thicker, cardstock, construction anything else butcher paper cardboard anything you want to paint on um so what we're gonna do is we're actually it's gonna be a little bit messy but i think you'll find it fun still um like i said but i also picked a bigger piece of paper just so i don't have to put as much down but make sure you always clean and roll up your sleeves if you have sleeves because you don't want to get them dirty and then you just kind of put the ball or the marble into the paint I picked the yellow first and I'm gonna set this down and we're just gonna kind of put it on here and then we're gonna do the fun part and we're gonna roll it around it's a little hard to keep it on sometimes and then you can also just kind of like use your hands to roll it around but I think it's more fun if we do the other and then you can kind of like pick different colors too um I see I already have paint all over my fingers and then we're gonna go into green with this one and I'm gonna put it here. Get the yellow off for now. And you don't have to worry about making like a picture or anything. You just kind of like roll them around. It'll turn out, I promise. But you just wanna cover like the whole area with a whole bunch of different colors. Um, maybe I want a smaller marks for the brown. So I picked a small mark here. Um, and then I'm gonna do like this. And I'm just kind of like letting it roll around. Um, it's a little faster if I do it like this versus like holding it. Oops. That's okay. I'll just grab a different one. And I'll grab the red. And this. Don't worry. I'll clean up my kitchen table later. It's hard to get a little slippery with all the paint on them. And then, um, oh. another big one. It looks like those are my big ones. Um, so I'm actually going to dip the orange in the one I used for the yellow, because that's fine. If it cross contaminates colors a little bit, because it gives us like these cool feet. And if you like hold it down a little bit while you're rolling it and when it gets more on there you get more tracks in there 
Um, I think I got enough orange for now, so I'm gonna switch back to like green. And I'm not gonna cover the edges just cause I know um, we're gonna cut this into a shape actually. So like I said, it doesn't really matter the pattern you get or maybe you want it like this, but shape doesn't matter a whole lot. We're gonna be coming back and we're gonna actually adjust these when after it dries. Um, so I'm gonna do that some more. And see, like, the marble's going to get a little covered. Um, be careful when you're trying to clean these off. Um, because they are really slippery. Because they're paint-filled. And paint's really slippery. Especially on, like, a circle like this, like the marbles are. Because they're glass. Uh, maybe I want just a little bit more yellow. So I'll grab, like, a fresh yellow marble. And like I said, we'll clean off our fingers after this. There's that. I'm actually going to um, I'm going to let this dry a little bit, and then we're gonna move on to the next part of it. So I'm gonna actually move this out of the way and off of our frame, and then I'm gonna switch to our next project. Okay, there we go. There's a spot of red on my table that I didn't want it to dry. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this down. I'm gonna quickly just get a little bit of paint off my fingertips. Because the next project, you wanna have clean fingers. That's the thing. Um, I'll just get a little bit off. So for the next project, um, it's actually pretty simple and you're just going to need like two, maybe three things and it's actually really fun to make. I was making it this afternoon um, and they were a lot of fun. Um, so I, our next project is actually we're going to make these pumpkins. Um, there's a couple different types of pumpkins you can make. This one's made with like a lunch paper bag for the center. Um, and then just like spare scraps of fabric for the leaves and the uh, the orange itself. Um, and the inside of this is actually toilet paper roll. So it kind of doubles as like spare toilet paper. Um, that's the running joke in my family anyway, is it's spare toilet paper. And then um, you can also make what I add out of uh, spare toilet paper roll is still the same. And then I used construction paper and then tissue paper is actually works really well for this and so what you can do is i picked up more orange tissue paper and so i'm going to open that up so i can figure out how to open it oh, i see it so i just picked up more orange tissue paper and i have a roll of toilet paper it can be any size um i'm just using the really big rolls because that's what i have um but the smaller rolls work great too and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out your tissue paper. It doesn't have to be orange tissue paper. Um, it's just cause it's a pumpkin, I made it orange. And so I'm just going to unfurl it a little bit. And you can be a little more delicate with the tissue paper. And then I think it works, I found out it works best when you use two sheets of tissue paper. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your tissue paper and your toilet paper roll. And I'll show you how to make the cloth version too. Um, it's actually, that one's even easier and like you don't have to worry about ripping it like you do the toilet paper. Uh, the tissue paper, not the toilet paper. You're not gonna rip the toilet paper. Um, so you're going to like grab a corner and you're gonna kind of bunch it up a little bit. And you're just gonna kind of start tucking it in. And then um, I kind of tuck in the other opposite corner a little bit and you really want to stick it down deep and get the lots of it in there. And then you're going to kind of just bring it up and bunch it together and then shove it all down there. And you don't, it's fine if it's like 
See how it's kind of like making these ridges like that? It kind of looks like the pumpkin ridges, so it's totally fine. Um, you can't really screw this up, to be honest. Um, they always turn out. And then you just kind of stick it down in there. And if you want, you can kind of mess around like how much poofiness you have overall. And you can kind of shove it around and mix it up. And there's your black pumpkin base, the body of the pumpkin. Um, I just take a, and then you're gonna need a scissors, and some construction paper. Since I already made this earlier, I have half a sheet of construction paper because you don't want your uh, your stem to be that long. And this is actually easy too. You just take your construction paper and you just kind of like roll it up. And the rolls don't have to be perfect. You just want it to be tight enough that you can stick it down in here. And then you can kind of like loosen it and you can like put it at whatever height. I like the shorter stems, but you can make your pumpkin stem this long. You can make it as tall as you want and it just kind of slides down in there. And I mean, at the end of things, like you can call this done, otherwise you can like add to this. Um, you can add to it by giving it leaves. Um, if you can get it leaves. Leaves, you just cut out some leaves. I'll do that quick. I'll cut out a leaf. And usually draw like a leaf shape, but I can cut one out. See that I have a nice little leaf for it. You can put more leaves than one. I'm just gonna put one for now. And you can just kind of stick it in there, and then I can kind of like bend it a little bit if I want to. You see the pumpkin has a cute little leaf. And then, um, other stuff you can do with it is you can use like black construction paper or any other color. Or you can use like a marker or a pen, and you can like draw a jack-o'-lantern face on these. Um, but that's up to you, otherwise you can just keep it as a regular pumpkin. Um, that's also fun. That's kind of up to you. Um, maybe you want to keep it as a pumpkin for a little bit. And then you want to turn it into a jack-o'-lantern more for like Halloween. Or other. For just to have around the house as a little jack-o'-lantern. Um, let's see. That other one is not quite dry. So I'm going to quickly show you. Um, just if you were going to do it with like fabric. Um, so you have like a spa spare piece. It's probably about. This is for your parents. It's probably about an inch and a half to two inches by about a foot for like your spare um, piece for the uh, for the leaves, and then for the uh, fabric part, it's actually and obviously this toilet paper roll has been a little bit abused because of the going in and out, in and out, and being a thing, but um lunch paper bag and then this piece of orange fabric's actually like I measured it it's 18 inches by like 22 inches um you can use any color fabric you can actually paint these too I'm not gonna paint it because I like it orange but that's also a lot of fun and it's like the same you do with the other where you kind of like grab a corner and bunch and then shove it down in and then grab a corner and bunch shove it down in and then grab this last corner and bunch it all up and shove it down in and you can kind of adjust it how you want it and then I usually shove this in first and then you can open the tube or not your tube your stem and you got a cute little tube pumpkin um that's how you make it with fabric um, it's a little easier to do with fabric if, like, you're afraid you're going to rip the tissue paper. But, like, I, I know not everyone has fabric, so, like, tissue paper is a good alternative. Um, yeah, there's, like, the fabric way of making these little pumpkins. And I'm thinking the other part's dry enough. Um, obviously it takes a while for stuff to dry, but I think it's probably dry enough that we can do our second part to this. 
Um, there's still a couple parts that are wet, but that's fine. I'll just clean off the scissors. But I would definitely recommend for you guys to let them dry. Um, just for the sake of you not watching paint dry, I'm going to move on to the next portion. And, okay, so this part's the fun part. Um, I made up the fall theme, so I'm going to actually make mine shaped like a pumpkin. Um, mine's kind of a pumpkin theme video today. Um, and so I'm actually going to cut this out in the shape of a pumpkin. So I'm going to use this pen I have right here. And I'm going to like draw out a pumpkin. If I can get this pen to write, actually. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to like draw the shape of a pumpkin here. And you can make it any shape you want. I'm just using a pumpkin because I wanted a pumpkin. Um, and then I can kind of like, and then you cut it out into the shape that you drew out. I'm just kind of like following along the lines. And it's a lot of fun to make like shapes. And it's like a painted pumpkin. And then I'll put like a leaf with it too. Um, like I did with the other one. I just thought painting with marbles was a lot of fun. Uh, so I need you guys to maybe try it out too. Um, you can use other things other than marbles. It's just marbles have a little more weight, so they're a little easier to push around. Um, you can use like, let's say you have like the Hungry Hungry Hippo game. Or like just some like other things that are kind of circular and like roll around well. Obviously, be careful. Marbles are kind of small. Um, don't drop them and trip on them or anything like that. And obviously, be careful whenever you're using a scissors for this. If you're not comfortable with the scissors, you can always have your um, guardian slash parent slash whoever's helping you. Um, you can always have them cut it out for you if you're not comfortable. But always, you know, try to work a little bit on your scissor skills. Um, it's kind of, it's useful, uh, it's a useful thing to learn how to do, but I know it can be scary, and you're probably using smaller scissors than I am, but I don't really have small scissors anymore, and I'm just going to cut this up straight a little bit, just because I have so much excess right here, but I'll continue cutting my shape, after I just drop the excess over here. And you can kind of see that like putting that much paint on it does kind of bow it a little bit and make it bubble a little bit. That's totally fine. Um, but that's why I also said don't use computer paper because that will just rip it because this is thicker paper and it still made it bubble like that. Um, um, you can just kind of like, to, if you want it to do more, like you can just kind of like tape it down. Or once it's dry, you can kind of just spritz the black with a little bit of water. And then you can like put it under some heavy books or something and it'll straighten it just right out if you want that. And then I'm going to make it a cute little leaf. And then um, another thing that could be a lot of fun is you kind of like use like a black marker or something and you can put like a jack-o'-lantern face on it. Um, there's my marble painting pumpkin. And if you have any questions, um, I guess I guess I try to make these videos and explain what I think you might have questions on. And if you have questions, I'm sorry I can't answer them. I would love to answer them, but I hope that you've been having a lot of fun with these videos as much as I have. And for recap, we did the marble painting with the pumpkins. And then we did the toilet paper tube pumpkins, which there's like the two versions of them. And see you all next week. And I hope you've been staying safe and have fun making these.